Welcome back, I'm Sean, and today we're checking out one of Tozo's most successful earbuds, the Tozo T10, but this time it gets upgraded into 2024, so let's check it out. So the Tozo T10 today was sent over to me by Tozo for review and this is not a sponsored post and my review will be based on my honest and unbiased opinion. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any future tech reviews. So the new T10 now retails for about 23 US dollars or about 110 Malaysian Ringgit and it's priced very similar to the original T10 at launch. So you're getting upgraded features at the same price. So that's a very good move by Tozo. So if you're interested in buying one, do check out my links below. So the earbuds here is generally the same earbuds from 2019 and this earbuds was actually launched even before I started my channel and over here you get the same case, the same plastic material and you get the same hook at the side here for you to loop a strap uh, that is also included in the box and you also get a lid that snaps into place when you open the case to access your earbuds inside which is awesome. So a small difference here is the original had a semi-translucent case uh, at the lid here to allow the LEDs to shine through that is now kind of replaced with a slightly darker plastic L uh, lid here. Uh, the LED can still shine through but a lot less opaque so no branding at the outside of the case here as well. And at the back of the case here, you don't get a flap that protects the charging port. Uh, now it's an exposed Type-C port, which is an upgrade from the original micro USB port. So what's retained here with the new earbuds is the wireless charging capabilities, but this time it's also a faster charging system with the all new faster charging wireless system out there. And as for the earbuds, it's pretty much the same design here and you get your traditional TWS style earbuds. You still get the left and right indicator at the top of the earbuds and also a touch sensor for you to tap away to control the earbuds. But as mentioned, Tozo also includes the lanyard for you to loop it around the case. It's quite a basic lanyard here and also 10 different ear tips for you to choose from to find the best fit. So these earbuds actually really fits well uh, for me. So battery life is also improved from the original thanks to the better and more efficient Bluetooth chipsets you get nowadays and you're gonna get a whopping 10 hours of battery life per charge and an additional 35 hours with the case. Where the original T10 only gets a 6 hour battery life and 24 hours with the case. So I do see some sites saying that these have 15 hours battery life but 10 hours is more realistic for my test. So you also get a faster wireless charging at 1.5 hours compared to the 2 hours from before which is pretty good as well. So volume wise you get to a comfortable listening volume at about 45% and it starts to get loud at about 80%. So if I move it towards the 90% or 100% it gets too loud that I cannot hover there for too long but even at that volume it doesn't distort or crack which is nice and you can also listen to these earbuds at extremely low volumes even at 1% volume very soft music still gets through which is very nice so feature wise you get a big upgrade here with now a bluetooth 5.3 chipset that supports both the AAC and SBC codec definitely three generations of improvement in five years which is very good so you also get the same impressive IPX8 water resistant rating probably overkill for basic in-ear earbuds that is not designed for swimming but at least you know you can wash these earbuds if it gets sweaty or sticky uh, without it getting destroyed. So you now get a seamless left and right playback where both of these earbuds connects independently to your phone. Uh, and I believe back in 2019, this is actually a luxury feature since most earbuds would run the traditional master and slave connection. So you always need to use the master unit when using it single-sided. Also, there is no multipoint connectivity on these earbuds, but that would be a great upgrade for 2024. And another upgrade here is that now you get the Tozo app support and it's pretty standard here and at the home page you will see the earbuds floating in a typical Tozo fashion and you get the clear left and right indicators and the percentage of the earbuds which is very nice. Here you get to adjust the EQ settings where you get 16 preset EQs to choose from and if you swipe around the EQ bars, you can also adjust it manually using the 10 band EQ. In the settings tab, you get to remap the touch controls but to be honest, out of the box, these are quite comprehensive so you really don't need to adjust them and you can also update the earbuds to the latest firmware over the air. So I actually like the sound signature here with the standard tuning EQ on the T10 and it has a very well-rounded full-body signature 
And some reviews point out that these earbuds are too bassy, uh, but for my test, these are very well balanced sounding earbuds. And testing music with crazy sub bass even in the standard tuning proves that these earbuds can handle sub bass crazy well, and you get that really deep, powerful bass that really rumbles. And the mid bass performance here is also firm and solid, and I think this is what puts Tozo on the map with nice sounding earbuds to begin with. And the mid vocals also sounds really good with high quality vocals that are really clear, crisp and not recessed. Uh, both male and female vocals sounds really nice on these earbuds. And in my opinion, the highs here is clear but could use a little tuning to give it that extra clarity and sparkle. Otherwise, this would be an extremely nice sounding earbuds right out of the box. So this is a test to see if the Tozo T10 is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So latency on these earbuds can use a little bit of help with a gaming mode, but unfortunately there is not a gaming mode that you can change to. And gaming with PUBG sees a little bit of delay, but not the end of the world, but you're not getting anywhere close to 80 or 100 milliseconds performance. So watching movies and videos on this feels really nice and snappy. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So these earbuds is definitely a worthy upgrade and I'm glad that Tozo decided to upgrade these earbuds because it's really comfortable to wear, it fits really well, sounds really good and has modern specs now and features that will last you a long time. And if you were to throw in multipoint at this price point then it literally is the perfect budget earbuds. So that is it for this review, if you find this video helpful smash that thumbs up button and share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.